Hi, I'm Monsignor Jamie, and welcome to a new episode of Breaking Bread, where food, faith, and family come together. Today we have a food blogger with us. I've never had a food blogger on before, but it should be a very interesting show, so don't go away. Hi, welcome to Breaking Bread. I'm Monsignor Jamie, and today we have with us a food blogger. That sounds interesting. But anyway, we have Tony Shilio here today, and I'd like to welcome him to our show. How are you, Monsignor? Tony, thank you for, thank you for coming. Oh, thank it's you a for pleasure. being here. Pleasure to be here. So tell me, a food blogger. I mean, you you critic you you know you're a critic well, of food. I, I don't or? like to actually crit critique food because you know people get it make make a living off of making their food. So I don't want to go into a restaurant and kind of you know tear them apart. So I I, I, I like to go to a place and, and, and spotlight it. Okay. So I don't I don't actually go to a place to, to destroy so them. So we have yeah. a lot in common. Yeah. Because that's what breaking bread does too. That's we don't we never criticize the food. We only say positive things. That's right. So only positive things today. That's right. Okay, only make sure. Things. All right. <laughs> so tell me, how did you get into to being well, a food growing critic? Growing up, and, uh, yeah. I grew up in an Italian American family. My, my my dad is Italian American. My mom's Italian American, she's also Polish and, and So you and, grew up with food. Yeah. So that was yeah. that, whether it was a funeral or a wedding, there's right, food, okay. right? And Sunday was always our big day of the week, so. Sunday? We didn't eat on Sunday. You didn't eat? No, no, we went to church. <laughs> then <laughs> well, we, we ate. <laughs> okay, right. Holy That's joke. right, church and then, and then, and then uh, dinner or lunch or supper, right. and that was always the big day for us. That was always, I, I always called it the, the unofficial Italian American day of the week. You know, meatballs, macaroni, and manja. That's kind exactly. of what we did on, on... We called it macaroni, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. today, the new thing is pa pasta. pasta it's yeah. macaroni. Yeah, it's mac. It's, it's always a mac. I mean, ever since I was a and baby, did you have sauce, or did you have gravy? I had sauce. You had sauce. Yeah, yeah. have a... We had gravy. Oh. Uh -huh. so <laughs> we had the macaroni in common. All right, so you like to eat. You yeah, grew up around eat, food. So, yeah, I grew up around food. Um, and then uh, I, I, I went to school. I, I had a radio show in college. So I did I did a lot of Italian American stuff. I, I had like Lydia on my show, Lydia okay. Bastianich. Oh really? I had yeah. Lydia on our show too. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had nothing yeah. in common. Okay. Uh, so I had Lydia. Yeah, and I had like the guy from uh, he was in um, uh, the Jersey Boys, John Lloyd Young. Okay. When it was on Broadway, he was on my show. So really, just I, I try to uh, spotlight Italian American culture, music, and. So that's when you were in school. Yeah. Were, they had yeah. the show. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, in the real world and got a job and uh, and kind of do now I do this kind of stuff for fun. So. Um, you know the, the radio stuff. I don't do as much as I would like to, but I like to have fun. I like I, okay. I like to eat. So that's so I wanted to combine my my love of food and and I, I'm a cradle Catholic. Grew up born and raised Catholic. But good but, to hear. I'm glad. But, to, but, but, but I'll now. be I'll be honest. I mean, like many kids my age, I kind of drifted away. How for, old are you? I'm, I'm 35. Wow, you're old. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest. I did drift away for for from the faith. Not, not that I ever became another religion, but I just kind of. Mm -hmm. I lost both my parents at a young age, okay. so so I kind of blamed God for a lot of, for that for for many years. Then I got married in the church, and uh, and it's funny. I mean, you know, it's, come down, he works in mysterious ways, and we have trouble conceiving. We have like infertility issues. So the, through that cross, drew me drew me back to my faith, drew me closer to Christ. And uh, since then, I've been on fire. Uh, as like like I, I feel like Saint Paul sometimes. I like to go out there and just you know. Um, be on fire for my That's team. great to hear because, yeah. you know, there's, there's no question, like when we're at our lowest point, that's when we're closest to the Lord. Amen. And you had to hit rock bottom, you know, after losing your parents was yeah. a hard thing, but then not being able to have a child, you really felt you were really deserted. Yeah. And that's when you needed the Lord the most and you turned to Him. Amen. Since then, I guess my reversion back to the faith has been uh, since 2012 and since then I've just been on fire for the Lord and again since I love I love food I love my faith I I, I go out there I, I live in the Archdiocese of Newark so I'm always visiting churches going to different events I always have a camera with me on my phone I'm, that's where we met yeah, yeah, we, yeah met we met in front of St. Patrick's that's Cathedral right. yeah. at the St. Patrick's Day yes, Parade we did. yes we did right, we started talking yeah. I was there with Bishop uh, Damasio yes. and we were reviewing the parade yeah and uh, we started talking yes. and you told me about what you do yeah. and I told you what I do and that's and how yeah. we came together here we are but yes, so, so God works through many strange ways. Yes, He yeah. does. Yes, He does, and thank and, and thank God for that. Yeah. Thank, thank Him for that. That's kind of my my story in a, in, in a nutshell. And uh, like I said, now I just I just go out there. And I try to bring food and faith to people because you know nowadays some people get a little skittish around faith. So you need to you need to bring it to them maybe in, in a way that isn't. Um, talking down to them, but kind of you know, you want to make a conversation. Right. I think that's so important. Is being and you have to meet people where they're at. That's right. You know, Pope Francis tells us, you know, we have to bring church to the people. 
And that's exactly what we have to do. We have to bring the church to people. Yeah. We have to meet them where they're at mm -hmm. and then bring them back Amen. in. That's, and that's... one of the greatest ways to do it is through food. <laughs> I mean, because when you have food, first of all, you're spending time. Everyone is busy today. Everyone's running all over the place. When you have some time, quality time to spend some, with someone, just even preparing, not yeah. only eating, but you know, preparing a dish you know, with family and friends, you start talking about things that maybe you normally wouldn't have time to talk about. Or when you're alone, you, know, you have that time to spend some quality time with someone. You know, by the way, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. It gives you, it lends itself to that, that time to be with someone else. Absolutely. While you're you know, preparing food. Absolutely, and, and, and even my, my, my wife now, she's been cooking a lot at, at home, so. Uh, she, did you uh, teach her, did she uh, uh, enhance your uh, cooking? She, she'd probably kill me, but she, I, she's a very good cook, but I, I think that uh, she learned more from me. Okay. She should learn more well, from me. <laughs> I don't want to say this on the air, but you know, the men are a little better chefs than they women, but you know, please don't take me into yeah. that. <laughs> no, but hey, I mean, really, uh, um, everyone loves to cook, yeah. even kids. I love all yeah. the shows today. They have kids oh, cooking, yeah. and yeah. you know, it, it's great to see because it's something that you know we enjoy and it's hands-on people want to that tangible they want to touch things and they want to do things you know and it's hands -on. absolutely and i think that's so important and again like you said it brings the family together right. and i think that's what we, sometimes what we miss in our culture now is whether you're playing baseball this you know everything is everybody's right. all spread out to come back together around a family meal that, yeah, that's what's, great. what's what's better than that now blogging how did you get into that i mean are you an official blog no, I mean, no i'm not who, a... you know who I just do my own thing. So I, I, again, I, I'm pretty big on Facebook. Uh, so my, I, my Facebook thing is www.facebook.com slash Tony at the table. So that's kind of where I do most of my- That's at your blog with yeah. uh, Tony so at the table. Yeah, so I, I don't really do so much writing, but I do a lot of like, I guess, vlogging or video, video yeah. blogging. So like if I go to a restaurant, uh, actually, before we came here today, we went to Best Pizza around the corner. Oh yeah, right, sure. Yeah, yeah so we, 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 so I actually did, I did a little short. Is that your 40... first time there? Yeah, first time there. This neighborhood lends itself to restaurants. They're all oh. over the place. I mean, <laughs> Lily is around the corner, award-winning chef. Yeah, uh, is right that uh, Missy, Missy Ro Isn't Missy Robinson there? Yes, yeah, she's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she was voted number one chef. Uh, yeah. You know, and then we have so many places, and it's just unbelievable. And. Uh, it's a great place to be, and I, I love being here because of my food background. Uh -huh. But now, um, has anyone ever called you back and said, how'd you do that? Why'd you do that? That's great, we'll get to that when we come back. We're gonna prepare a little seafood uh, risotto here today, so uh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Breaking Bread. And besides uh, preparing a nice dish here, we're with Tony, the food blogger. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about your blogging after I tell you what we're gonna prepare today. All right, I'm excited. You ever had risotto? You're an oh, Italian, I so I'm risotto. sure you had risotto. I, I have. With seafood. Okay, even better. Okay, I started already, because uh -huh. you know, the show's only a half hour, and you know risotto, good risotto, yeah. it's slow cooking. Oh, absolutely. So what I did was, I just have preparing over there, I have a little uh, olive oil, I sauteed some garlic and onions. I threw my risotto in, and then I threw a little tomato sauce in there. And now I'm just adding my uh, seafood broth. Mm. I use seafood because, you know, it's gonna be a seafood risotto. Yeah, yeah. If we were using meat or chicken or something, we'd use, you know, chicken or, or beef. But anyway, that's sauteing over there. And I have, have here some uh, galamad and shrimp. We have some little neck clams. Mm. And uh, we'll mix it all together, some shrimp. And, um, We'll prepare that dish. Sounds now, great. Now, when you were a kid, you eat risotto? Uh, probably not. Yeah. Probably when I got older, I guess my, exactly. my palate was more refined. I have to say, <laughs> when as a kid, we ate macaroni. Yeah. We didn't have too much risotto. No. But uh, now it's you know it's a hot dish and oh, it, it's absolutely. nice because it's um, you can eat it with all different types of meats and fish yeah. and whatever you I want. I think I think what the more traditional one is called the uh, risotto milanese. Right? Right. That's the one from northern yes, northern Italy. Exactly. Put a little saffron in it. Yeah, it's just plain. Yeah. But uh, I like to add a little spice. Yeah. Why to not? It. Why not? Why not? <laughs> So uh, why don't we go over there and uh, we'll uh, see what we're doing. Or maybe right. we can lend a hand. Absolutely, besides, whatever, whatever you... Besides, the, you know, uh, crit uh, critiquing no, the crit food, no. you can, you know, maybe do a little work. All right, hey, that's, that's all right. Okay, so now as you can see here, we have our risotto. Oh, wow. yeah, it looks great. And that's simmering here. And in there we have our sauteed uh, garlic and onion. We do a little tomato sauce in there. And now I've been adding the seafood broth, a little bit at a time. So you're using the, uh, what kind of rice are you using here? I'm using the- Aborio? Uh, Aborio mm -hmm. rice. And it is, um, you know, an Italian rice. You yeah. can use any type, but that's the most popular brand out today. So uh, letting this simmer. 
And so then, it's important you don't want to boil it. You right. want to. You know, when you make it, slow. regular rice, you just boil it. Yeah. Here, you want the the broth to be absorbed into the rice, mm -hmm. and you got to cook it slow. It takes about 20, 25 minutes. Here, I have about a pound of, oh, of wow, rice. Okay. And also, it expands. So I mean, a pound could could cook right. out. Right. And as you add, you know, as you're adding the broth, yeah. it will expand, and you have to keep on adding broth. And then you have to taste it. Mm -hmm. If you don't taste it. Uh, you'll never know because you don't. You want it al dente, mm -hmm. but you don't want you don't want it hot. Hot. Yep. So, um, so as this is cooking, wow, now, it the smells next thing, amazing. And this has been cooking for a while now, about 15 minutes or so, almost 20 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is add my shrimp and galamad. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. How long does it take after you once you add the, the seafood? Well, another 10, 15 minutes, and you have to taste it. And then we'll throw in our little neck clams. Oh, nice, really good. And of course, you know the clams will open as yeah. they cook. And um, is there anything I could do? Want me to stir it, maybe? Yeah, or? you want to do uh, that? Yeah, yeah, I could, I put could. you to work. Yeah, I got to I think work for my food, right? Yeah. I just can't. I just can't eat. So Tony, tell me, uh, have you ever done any negative blogs? No, you know what, Monsignor? I'll be honest. I don't really like to hurt anybody's business. So it's I, I like to do positive spotlights. I call it a spotlight thing. So if I if, if you know if I go to a place and the food isn't so good, I don't say anything. Okay. I just uh, I just go out. I just go be, go about about my business and just. Uh, just, just find the next spot to go to. But, so now, uh, did anyone ever call you? I mean, you thought it was a good blog, but it didn't come across that way. And then ever say, no, that's not how it was supposed to be. Or uh, to be honest, no, actually, no, no it hasn't. I, I've, I've been very lucky. All right, so it's been I've, very I've, I've been very, very positive. So, like, okay. like I said, I, 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 again, I like to combine the, the faith aspect of it as well. So, if there's a restaurant out there that I know maybe has a Catholic chef, or is actually uh, funny, there's, there's a pizzeria I go to a lot, and um, it's actually in Jersey in Ridgewood called Santa Gidio. And okay. it's, it's named after a, a saint, a, a Catholic saint, uh, Saint Giles, and uh, the owner, the owner of the restaurant, his is, is a, it's a nephew and, a, and an uncle. They own the restaurant, and their their grandfather was named Egidio, so they named it after wow. Santa Egidio. Really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's interesting. It's, it's a Neapolitan style pizza, right. the wood the wood fired oven they have in there. So it's uh, but again, that's that, so he's and, and he's a great friend, and his food is amazing. So I don't, you know, I love going there to have some some pizza if I'm in the neighborhood. Okay. But as good as the St. Joseph Zeppelin, you know, you get oh, it. Oh, the Sphinx, the Sphinx, the Sphinx, the Zeppelin, yeah, yeah. What do, you, what, what do you, what do you do? Do you do the whole sun, uh, sarda beca, what is it? The, the, the pasta, pasta con sarda, yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I've eaten it, uh -huh. but I really haven't made it uh, of late. I'm, I'm always busy that yeah. time of the year. It's, it's Lent. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a busy it's time. It's always during Lent. Although you kind of get that, you get that little break, right, for yes. uh, March 19th and also obviously with We uh, have to throw a little bit all more right. fish stock in here. Oh, yeah. And you know, fish stock you can make from the shells, the skin of fish. You know, when you're cleaning fish, even the shrimp. You know, like I, what I did here was I took the shells off the shrimp, uh -huh. and I, I made my my fish stock. Or oh, you can wow. purchase it. You can purchase yeah, the yeah, easy yeah. way out. Yeah, I mean, now, nowadays you can buy. I mean, I remember when I, when I started cooking, even even 10, 15 years ago, you couldn't right. find a lot of these things in the stores. You had to either go out and make it or order right. it. And now, and now, you, now you go to your local supermarket and have everything. So Tony, tell me a little bit about your parish. Uh, I go to St. Leo's in Old Park. Uh, Archdiocese in Newark, and uh, I try to stay involved in, in, in my parish. So to me, my, my faith isn't just one hour on Sunday. It's 24 hours a day, 365 right. days a year. It's so important to be involved right. in, our, in, in, in our faith life. Because, and to you know, put it into action. That's right. It's yeah. not just going to church on Sunday for an hour. It's how, what you do with that, that's right. what you bring from the church, what Absolutely. you bring you know, into the community. And, and, and I, I try to, your life. during Lent, I, I, try to, I try to delve a little deeper into my prayer life even because uh, I know Paul says, pray without ceasing. So that's one thing that I've been, I've been trying to do. So I've, I, I, kinda, I kinda been, I don't wanna say stealing, but I've been taking from the Eastern, the Eastern Catholic and, and praying a lot of, that, of the Jesus prayer. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I, I really, I say that all day long. And to me, it even helps me go to sleep at night. I, I, I could actually fall asleep without thinking about a thousand other things. I just think about our Lord in it. Well, the, the more you repeat it, the more Christ is on your mind. That's right, and, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's actually, so I, I, I use I use these little prayer beats. I, I count throughout the day how many times That's I said. very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Little uh, Eastern Byzantine prayer beads. Yeah, we have a little gift shop here, and we sell them. They're, they're big sellers. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Really, but it, just, yeah. it makes sense because it really, again, it just it, it puts Christ on your mind. And you know, unfortunately, today, you know, expressing your faith and religion isn't something that's so acceptable yeah. in public. Mm -hmm. So you know, rather than standing there on the subway or on the bus with a ros your rosary, mm -hmm. you know, and you keep it in your pocket, but you know, it's hard to count sometimes. <laughs> you, you miscount. But you know, when it's on your finger, it's 
not so present. Yeah. And you know, so you can you can say the rosary, you can pray yeah. without people looking at you and think you're some religious <laughs> fanatic or something like that. You know, I understand. It's, it's, it's the society in which we live yeah. right now. But anyway, this here is just about done. Now what I do is at the end, okay, I throw in a little dab of butter. All right. And that kind of brings everything together. Has a nice flavor. And um, we'll mix this oh, yeah, around. You see the amazing. butter going down. We'll have this absorb a little bit more. And then we're gonna add a little bit of fresh pepper. You see the clams opening yeah, up? Yeah, everything's opening up. Yeah, little salt, not too much salt, because the uh, seafood stock and the fish uh, is has, salty has. already. So. Wow, this is, this is a real treat. Yeah, and I think once, and you have to play with it. You have to, you know, you have to taste it. You have to, once all the liquid absorbs and cooks out, then you taste it again. But it looks, I can tell just by. by yeah, yeah, by the you, feel. You, you, the you feel. have to feel. Yeah. That's one thing about cooking. You, you, you know, some people want recipes and all. It's all about touch yeah, and sight. and right. you know, the smell, everything. Exactly. I know yeah. when I used to ask, you know, my grandmother, how, how do you make this? <laughs> you know, how, how much flour? Well, you know, you put about <laughs> this much and then you feel it if it needs a little more. But, you know, that's how it is. But anyway, in a few minutes, we'll come back uh -huh. and uh, we'll have uh, uh -huh. a little something to eat. I hope you... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait for this blog. When we come back, uh, Tony will uh, taste my little seafood risotto and uh, hope maybe he'll put a blog out on it. <laughs> Who knows? See you then. Welcome back to Breaking Bread. And we're here with Tony the blogger and uh, we have our seafood risotto just about done. So Tony, I'm gonna to put you to work, bring it over. All right, sounds good. <laughs> oh, this looks amazing. So, I hope it tastes amazing. Let's see, wow, it's heavy. I'll tell you that, this, look at this, this looks unbelievable. Put it right here? Right here. All right, okay. it's hot, be careful. So now, uh, wow, I will smell. plate it out. Holy cow. Smell all that fish in there? Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm ready to manja. Manja, manja. manja. Tutti a tavola mangiare, as Lydia says, right? Oh, look I'll at put this. put the clams and the shrimp oh. there. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. There we but go. But it seems so easy to make, right? I mean, really. It's not it's... hard. As long as you have all your preparation done ahead of time. We'll just wipe this down a little bit. And wow. uh, we'll move this to the side. And we'll put a little, just a little dab of pepper. I like a little spicy. Yeah. And then fresh parsley on top. All right. Now, a lot of times when you have risotto, you put cheese on, but since yeah. it has the fish, yeah. I don't know about you, we never put Make, cheese on fish. Yeah, you don't mix the fish and cheese, right? Exactly. So let me know how you like this. All right, I'm excited. It's hot, be careful. All right, yes, yeah, steaming. Wow, that is amazing. Good. That is really awesome. Then you can go home and make it for your wife. Yeah, I can. This is a nice, uh, nice, a nice, a nice dinner for my wife. Speaking of your wife, I know you said that in the beginning when you met your wife, you were at a, you know, a very low point in your life, and then, mm. you know, you came back to the church. How did she uh, fit in here? How did she accept your your faithfulness and you know, you know how much you uh, wanted to practice your faith and how you wanted to express it? Mm -hmm. Going through she, what you she's, went through. She was very uh, supportive. She's always there for me. And and again, I think as, as a Catholic husband, we have to bring our, our families with us on this journey of life. Life is a pilgrimage, and it's, it's, it's sometimes it's a hard pilgrimage. Sometimes it can be a little easy. But as long as as long as you have somebody by your side that's that's willing to stay with you and and to be with you and to support you, it, it makes it so much easier. And I'm sure it also it helped her as well. Yes, yeah, right. I mean, to grow closer. The, your deep faith that mm -hmm. you had, especially at the time of, you know, having a difficulty having a child, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure it helped her as absolutely, well. Absolutely, and I think, again, we, 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 we grow together. So I, I think of, I think of, there's a, uh, uh, I've heard one of the speakers, Catholic speakers say something called joy. So you put Jesus first, others, and then yourself last. So you, you always, yes. you always put your others yeah. before you. And, and, and life becomes a little bit easier. I mean, not, 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 not that life ever gets, it's, 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 it's a cakewalk, right. it's not. But but again, it makes things easier. And it's important, I, I think, to show our faith to others out there. Right. Again, to try to evangelize, not always with words, right. but with actions. Right. 
That's uh, what St. Francis yeah, said. Right. Preach the gospel every day. Yeah. And if you have to, use words. That's right. But you know, it's so true. And I always tell people that. I said, you know, people that have faith, life isn't easy, but you're able to bear it. You, bear, you have hope. You're That's able it. to go on. Yeah. And you know, you're able to be an example to other people as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, all that we've been talking about, I'm sure you've had many conversations like this over a meal. Right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Preparing dinner for yeah. yourselves in, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what, you know, uh, cooking, and that's what our show is all about, how we bring together family, how we bring together faith and food. Mm -hmm. And I think if more people use that time together, that quality time, and not talk about the weather, you know, uh, I think many people will be helped and make this world a little better of a, You're of a place. Right. You're absolutely right. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. But I want to thank you for being with us. Thank you for having and me. And I hope that, you know, maybe you can uh, put a little blog out there about our show, Breaking Ab Bread. Absolutely. And on net television and uh -huh. uh, about our TV station. And uh, hopefully we can work well together. Yeah. And we can bring great. our faith out to the people. Amen. As Francis, Pope Francis says. That's right. Bring church to the people. And this is one of the ways to do it, through food. And I want to thank you for all thank, that you do. And thank you. I'll pray for you and your wife. And God bless you. Thank you. Man. Thank you for God bless you. Us. God bless you. Thank you. I hope you were inspired with today's show. I think I was. And I think uh, more people should watch our show and, and learn a little bit more about our faith by sharing a meal together. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Breaking Bread. I don't know about you, but I've been truly inspired by all of our guests to see such young people alive in the spirit, filled with faith and are willing and want to share their faith and their experiences with other people, whether it be through blogging, whether it be through the film, or, or whatever the case may be. Today we saw how Tony, who had, you know, had a rough life, lost his parents at a young age, and then, you know, got married and had, you know, a little difficulty having a child, but yet he turned to the Lord, never lost faith, and now he's there bringing faith to others. I think People like that are truly an inspiration for all of us. And this is what we do here on Breaking Bread. We share each other's stories and lives through Breaking Bread.